Black Aerospace in East Lancashire invested back in 2015 in an MX520. They went for another Matsura machine, an MX520. They went for some more Matsura machines, MX330, not one, but two. And then, not long ago, they went for what we could call the big bad boy, the MAM 7235V 32 pallet machine. Richard, wow, what an investment in Matsura machines. Yeah, it's been a natural progression for us since 2015. And we're really pleased with the uh, with what it does for us as a business in terms of being able to uh, to handle the uh, the number of parts and volumes that uh, we, we're starting to see as a business. Let's talk about the machine in just a few moments. But what industries? I know it says Merck Aerospace, so of course naturally aerospace. But what do you cover? What are you making? We service the aerospace, defence, oil and gas. Uh, we're a make to order subcontract engineering company, so we'll, so we'll make anything that somebody can throw at us. We enjoy working in, in tough metals and the soft metals as well, so, so we certainly like it like a challenge. You certainly do, don't you? You certainly yeah. like a challenge. Why Matsura? Um, Matsura, it's reliability, accuracy of their machines. It's been a good partnership for us for a number of years, and we're really pleased with the progress that we've had as a business, and we attribute a lot of that down to the, the machine tools that we've had from Matsura since then. Well, quite interestingly, you might not know this, but they had 11 milling machines. You've gone down to five milling machines, but you've increased your throughput. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a demanding industry that we all, we all work in nowadays, and, and the, the need for lights out machining and automation is very much at the forefront. And we're really pleased with the MX330 PC10s and the and the 32 pallet MAM 7235V behind us. So that you said that really quickly. Yeah. Then. Wow. Uh, Matsura call these machines vending machines for components and parts. Yep. Would you agree and why? Yeah, it's uh, being a 32 pallet machine. It certainly gives us real uh, real flexibility to be able to put on all the varied components that we see right through from small batch work to medium and, and large batch work we're able to put on here. So it's a very flexible workhorse for us. And I suppose our challenge is, is keeping the, uh, the machine fed. It's, uh, it's very hungry. Who is a machine like this really aimed at? Well, anybody who sees a, a variety of products coming through their business, it certainly is. We, we work on in-service spares programs for uh, aerospace primes. And, and we're seeing small batch work at times and we put it on this machine with a great degree of success. It allows us the ability to be able to swap and, and change uh, parts around and, and achieve that ultimately machine uptime that we desire. Now I know you've got one, two, three, four machines, five Matsura machines, but they all work together and I know your work holding is a real kind of key player to bring yeah. all of your work together as one. Yeah, it's we. With having the Capto system, all of the all of the pallets are interchangeable. Embracing yeah. the Lang work holding technology, it really does mean that we have the ability to be able to interchange our uh, products on each machine, and a real added bonus for us as a business. How efficient is this machine for your business? Oh, it, it's certainly very efficient, as you've just uh, alluded to. The 11 machines down to five, additional throughput, improved labour efficiencies. Clearly, I mean, it's been a transformational change for our business, and the MAMS is. is um, ultimately rewarded us with a with an Airbus, Airbus contract as well so we're very pleased with that so, so yeah it's incredible and with all yeah. those positives I've still got to be realistic with you do they break down do you ever have any problems what are the problems that come with these multi pallet machines because realistically there's got to be some other areas you need to consider very rare but when they do arise we've got an engaged support staff at Matsura so they're always on hand to speak with and we've, we've worked closely with Renishaw as well in, in terms of learning how to embrace the, the best probing strategies as well so it's been a learning curve over the last five six years and, uh, and one that we, we continue to acquire more knowledge and get better at. Are these big blue machines the only machines for you? Oh we certainly see no reason in changing, uh, in, in changing at the moment uh, they, they tick all the boxes for us and we're, we're very happy. We're, we're very happy with what Matsuru offer us.